Have you ever been watching someone and see that they do something like this? This? Or this? Well, today I'm going to be showing you 5 easy keyboard shortcuts to help you be more efficient in Minecraft. The first tip I'm going to be showing you is how to combine all of the items of a single type in a chest, or in your inventory for that matter. All you're going to have to do is double click on the item that you want to combine. So I'm going to double click, and there we go. All of them are combined. Do that again, and one more time, and there we go. <laughs> and a whole chest full of items now completely uh, separated down into three different categories, and we can just go ahead, shift click the items into our hotbar. It makes it a whole lot more simple. And yes, this is assuming that you have the default keybind. So if for some reason your uh, hit button is not the left click, then just use your hit button and double click that. It should still work. The second keyboard shortcut I'm going to show you is how to take all of the items in a chest out at once. And this is assuming that all the items are the same. So they cannot be like different types. Otherwise, you'll only pull out one type similar to the first keyboard shortcut. So yeah, all you're gonna have to do to do this one is pick up one of the items and then shift and double click. And what this will do is take all the items out and you can put them back in simply by doing the same thing. And if you don't wanna have to pick up an item in the chest, you can actually do the same thing with a separate item and just do that and then put the item back, pretty simple. Um, this is maybe slightly more useful, but if you for instance, have like a double chest and you want to pull out as many items as possible, then just go ahead and do this. The third keyboard shortcut is going to be one that's very useful if you're trying to fill up multiple chests with loot very quickly. So yeah, all you have to do is pick up an item and then hold down your pick block button and just fill up the entire chest with items. Note, this also does work with single items, so go ahead and do that. And it also works with non-stackable items and items that only stack up to 60. The fourth keyboard shortcut is one that you've probably seen speedrunners do quite often when they're trying to trade items really fast and also just regular YouTubers when they're trying to trade like lots of items pretty quickly. So yeah, this one's slightly more complicated than the other ones, but it does, does work really well and it's quite convenient if you're trying to trade something like sticks and the person's up their prices like they have here. In my case, I actually just punched the villager to get the trades up so that we can show the trick in action longer. So yeah, all we're gonna be doing is clicking on this, you have to click on it. And then you're gonna be holding down shift and once you trade, press the space bar. So what this will do is basically um, trade the last item that you traded again when you press the space bar. And there we go, it's pretty simple. And you can also do it really quickly, like you saw in the intro. So yeah, if you get it down to like a the good timing, you can trade lots of items very quickly. The final keyboard shortcut I'm going to be showing you is how to switch your game modes really fast. And this is less of an inventory shortcut and more of, you know, just a very convenient shortcut that you can use to basically go through walls. So all you're going to do is press F3 and N at the same time. Press F3 first and then hold down the N key to switch to spectator mode from creative mode. And if you would like to switch it up, for instance, you want to go from survival to spectator, all you have to do is press F3 and F4. And what you can do is maybe go to survival and you're just gonna have to keep pressing the F4 to change the game mode or you can use the mouse, but just pressing F3 and F4 over and over again is way more convenient in my opinion. So yeah, let's go to survival mode. Then what you can do is press F3 N, we'll take you to spectator mode go through the wall, let's say, and then we can come out on the other side and be back in this problem mode. So this is super convenient for whatever, like redstone projects or building projects that you, you're you doing. Note, this is only available in creative mode. So yeah, don't try to do this in survival mode. Before you go, I also wanted to quickly share a few extra keyboard shortcuts that I didn't mention in the main list. Do note that these keyboard shortcuts are not any less useful than the five main shortcuts. They're just a little bit more well known and I want to show you some slightly less known ones that you might not have known about before. So the first of the honorable mentions is going to be the pick block, which is arguably the most useful one on the entire list. 
So yeah, let's say I have some stone in my inventory, but it's not in my hotbar, and I want to basically get it quickly. All I have to do is hover over the item with my crosshair, and then hold down middle click, or just press it actually, and it will get basically put the item in your hotbar, and then you can start building with it. Let's say some wood, <laughs> you're placing some wood down, but you, then you want to switch back to the, the stone, so you just do that. And then let's say I want the wood again. Keep switching, it's super easy, and it's really useful if you have like more than one item. Let's say I have the cobblestone, or the andesite, maybe even the stone brick. So it's a super easy way to basically transport items into your inventory with ease. The second honorable mention is going to be branching off from the pick block. And yeah, we're going to be doing a slightly different version of pick block. So yeah, I have a bunch of items in this chest, and I basically want to keep the chest and the items inside of it. So yeah, if I were to just do a middle click like normal and place the chest down, no items would be inside it. But if I want to copy the contents inside the chest as well, I'm going to be doing control middle click. And then when you place that down, you'll see that it has all the cobblestone in it. Also note that in your inventory that this is a regular chest and this one has the NBT data saved. So yeah, if you want to copy the NBT data, then you're going to want to basically control middle click. The next keyboard shortcut is going to help you with hotbar organization. And basically, yeah, I have a bunch of items in this chest. They're all kind of mixed up and I want to put them in my hotbar, but I don't want to just shift click them because then we'll just go to this spot right here. I want them to be here. So what am I going to do? I'm going to, instead of shift clicking it, I'm going to be pressing the key while hovering over the item that I want it to go to. So this is my, I found this uh, slot to the one key. So I'm just gonna press one while hovering over the item. That will put it in my inventory. This was two, three, four, five, and six. So two, three, four, five, and six. No, you can't really do this for armor, so you're going to have to shift click it into your inventory. And then all you have to do is shift click it again to put it into your armor slots. The final honorable mention is going to be the offhand. Because as a 1.16, you can actually take items and put them directly in your offhand by plus pressing the offhand key. So for me, it's F. I'm going to press F. It's going to put that in my offhand. And if I want to like switch it out with something... I can just press F again, F again, and yeah, that's basically a super easy way to put stuff in your offhand. Before, you had to be in your hotbar to do it, but yeah, now you can do it from anywhere in the inventory, which is super cool. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed this quick video of my list of easy keyboard shortcuts. If you have a couple of your own, make sure to leave them in the comments. But these are all things I've learned over my years of playing Minecraft. So yeah, it's just it's things that you pick up, but I thought that I would just make a list here so that, you know, Let's say you're new to Minecraft, you can just come straight here, learn a bunch of them, and become super efficient. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. This has been Glitch Now. Goodbye, everyone.